Okay, problem 4-3a. So in this problem, it asks you to create an income statement, statement of owner's equity and balance sheet. And since this was from the previous chapters, I've already completed this. And then the second part is to prepare closing journal entries. And the last part is to prepare a post-closing trial balance. So here you see we have the income statement, just the revenue minus the expense, gives us the net income. Uh, then the statement of owner's equity, we get the capital from the trial balance. We add in the net income up above subtract out the withdrawal from the trial balance to get our ending owner's equity. Then on the balance sheet, it says to prepare a classified balance sheet. The only thing that means is that the balance sheet is categorized by types of assets. So I've listed the categories here, current assets, um, property, plan, equipment. And then on the liabilities and owner's capital, we have current liabilities and then we have owner's capital. Okay. So the second part is to pair, prepare closing entries. So temporary accounts are closed, meaning revenue, expense, and withdrawals. So the first account we wanna close is revenue. So we see the revenue amount here is 60,000. So to close it, we wanna debit service revenue for 60,000. And we wanna credit it to this temporary holding account called income summary. For 60000 Then we want to do the same thing for expenses. Expenses are temporary accounts that are normally debited. To, so to close them, we want to credit those accounts. So we take this temporary holding account income summary to debit. Again, if we go to the statements, our total expenses are 37900 And what I'll just do is copy over all the expenses and again since they're normally me, debited we want to close those accounts we want to credit those accounts okay okay then the third thing to do now we have a balance in our income summary account. We have total credits of 60,000, total debits of 37,000. The difference is net income. So now we want a debit income summary for the amount that equals net income. And we want a credit capital. So this is the same thing as doing or updating, excuse me, statement of owner's equity where we're adding in that income. And then we want to subtract out the withdrawals. This is the last closing journal entry. So we want to debit capital 11,000 and credit withdrawals because they were normally a credit account, a debit account, excuse me. So those are the four closing journal entries. There'll be those four only that you'd have to do. Then the last part is to prepare a post-closing trial balance, okay? So the post-closing trial balance only contains permanent accounts. And those permanent accounts are assets, liabilities, and capital, okay? So since this, these, these um, temporary accounts have been zeroed out, we don't need to include them. So all we need to do now is copy these over and then we just need to sum Oops. Now, in order to make this equal, we have to use the new capital balance, okay? And that number is 30,600. Okay, so now our debits and credits equal. And so this is our post-closing trial balance, which only includes permanent accounts that are assets, liabilities, and owner's equity.